Hey guys, I'm going to go over the study guide with you. Okay, so um, the test date is on Tuesday, and remember we talked about the time log. This is just a sample. I would strongly suggest you keep track of how much time you spend on the study guide. All right, and as a tip, um, I wasn't able to give this to, I believe, either second or third period today, but, or maybe it was first, but, no, I think it was second or third. Anyway, um, this, I'll give it to you guys on Monday, but start on page um, 11, or page 12, we'll say. Pages 12 through, so we got page 12, 13, 14, 15, which looks like this, okay? And 16, which looks like this, okay? And then 17. Now, for 17, this is what I ended up with my fourth academic. So those of you that are um, from other academics, I would um, like to encourage you guys to um, add these annotations onto your papers. Okay, so that's it. That's basically all you need. So you need pages 12 through 17 to help you study for this test, okay? So I would strongly suggest you take advantage of that. Okay, here we go. Triangles um, theorem. So for numbers 1 through 6, solve for x. I need to make sure what I'm being asked to find. Show all work numbered on a separate sheet of paper. Let me get some paper. All right, number 1. Now I see no in, uh, exterior angles, so I'm going to use the triangle sum theorem, which says all three angles add up to be 180. Okay, so we got 46, 74. I should probably put this a little closer. I, don't, I forgot how small these terms were. And then x plus 71. Yeah, box and circle. Okay, these are all like terms. Now, if you like the variable constant method, we can do that in a second as well. I'm not going to do that for every one of these, but I encourage you, those of you that like the variable constant method, go for it. And then just, you know, play the video and see how you did. Okay, all right, so 46, I need to add all three of those numbers up. So 46 plus 74 plus 71 equals 191. So x plus 191 equals 180. And then subtract 191 from both sides. x equals 1. So now make sure that you do the top number minus 191. We're going to end up with a negative, and that is OK. So you get negative 11. It's OK to get x to be negative as long as the angle itself is not negative. The x is allowed to be negative or positive. It could be decimal or anything like that, OK? So mainly it could be negative. So now, did we, do we need to plug it back in? No, it just said solve for x. And the way we did, what we did was we used the relationship between the angles to do that. So x equals negative 11. <clears throat> Let's check our answer key in the back. OK. Done. All right. Anytime during this video, if you need me to pause, you just pause the video. Now, I'm just going to do this method sometimes here. For those of you that prefer the variable constant method, okay, you could, you could, um, you could still set it up the same way. And then, We'll circle, circle, box, circle, circle. And then the variable constant method. So I've got one variable here. You can put the one or not put the one. And then all of these, the rest of these are constant. So on this side, I have a 180 already. But then all of these are changing sides. So if 46 is coming to this side, you got to change it, its sign. It was positive, now it's negative. OK, now you take the 74, bring it to this side. It was positive, now it's negative. 71, you bring it to the side, it was positive, now it's negative. Okay. So this, nothing's happening with the x. That rarely happens. And then, got to add all these four numbers up. Okay, so I have um, 180 plus 
negative 46 plus 74 negative plus 71 negative, and I get negative 11. So, so this is another way to do it, okay? Let's go ahead and go to number two. All right, number two, I see an exterior angle, which means automatically I should go right to this, blank plus blank equals blank. So remote interior plus remote interior equals exterior. All right, so this is my exterior angle. This, um, this is right here, okay? So um, this is my remote interior, remote interior. So we got 40. Maybe I need to make room for the other one, so thank goodness for our erasers. 40 plus 15x plus 5 equals 23x plus 5. Okay. So I have, now those of you that like the variable constant method like we did over here, I want to encourage you to use that method here if that's what you are more comfortable with. Okay. So, oh, I won't do it this time. Okay, so we're going to do that and then combine like terms so we get, I'll write 15x and then add the 45 equals 23x plus 5. So students get stuck sometimes when you have a variable on both sides. Take care of those variables first. In general, it's less confusing. So I'm going to move the smaller variable by subtracting it because it was positive to begin with. You get 45 equals um, 23 minus 15, or 23 plus a negative 15. That's 8. 8x, don't forget it's an x. Then bring down the plus 5, subtract, subtract, and you get 40 equals 8x, and then divide, divide, and x equals 5. Let's check. Looks good. All right, let's go to number three. I see another exterior angle. If you're getting the hang of this, I would strongly suggest you pause the video, do it on your own, and then see if you get the correct answer. Check your answer in the back. And if you don't, then refer to this video. So we got a 4x plus 22. Um, plus 40 equals 10x minus 10. Remember I set up my blanks this way because we've got an exterior angle. Okay, this is my exterior. This is my remote interior. Here's my remote interior. All right. So I'm just going to combine like terms. So these are like, nothing happened with the 4x, so I'm going to leave it. 22 plus 40 is 62. Is that a minus? Okay. And then box and circle, box and circle. I'm going to move the smaller variable. You could move the bigger one. You'll just end up with a negative x. And then 62 equals, add these, 6x minus 10, plus 10, plus 10. So 6x equals 72. Divide, divide x equals 72 divided by 6 is 12. And since I don't need to plug it in for any angles, that should be my answer. Let's double check. Yes. All right, number 4. I'm going to do number 4 over here. Not number 4. Okay, so number 4, I see only interior angles, so I'm going to do the triangle sum theorem, which means we add up the three angles to equal 180. So which means okay so circle circle box circle circle okay um, once again if you would like to do the VC method go for it and we should be able to get the answer at the end I'm going to combine, 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 so 50 plus 85 plus 3, 138. So 7x plus 138 equals 180. Subtract.
180, don't, or you have to start with the 180 because that's the number you have first on top, minus 138 or plus or negative 138 is 42. D divide x equals 6. That should be our answer. And it is. Let's go to number 5. Again, if I'm going too fast, just pause the video. You have the freedom to do that. I've got an exterior angle if you look at number five. So setting it up this way. Okay, so oh, here's my exterior angle. Here's my remote interior, remote interior. So and that should be, wow. I believe that's a minus. Oh man. Or is that a plus? What did I do for number three? Okay, that's a minus. Okay, I'm going to go with minus. So you have 5 minus 13x plus 30 equals 20x. All right, so if you circle and box, here I'm going to combine like terms. So I have negative 13x plus 35 equals 20x. All right, so I have a box, circle, box. All right, I have a, I have a um, variable term on both sides. I'm going to move the smaller one. So I get 35 equals, uh, okay, something doesn't look right. Hold on. Mm, mm, maybe that is supposed to be a plus, and it just didn't copyright. If that is the case then that's going to have an effect. Yeah, looks like this is supposed to be a plus, guys. Sorry for any confusion on that. Okay, that's supposed to be a plus. So I'm going to make this a plus, which means that's a plus. But then that affects this part here. So this is a minus, minus. And then you get a 7x. What's 20 minus 13 is um, not minus here. 7x. Then divide, divide, and then x equals 5. And let's hope that that's the correct answer. Yes, it is. Okay, so now number six. Number six, we have a all interior angle. So we're just going to do blank plus blank plus blank equals 180. And don't forget about this 90 degree angle. So 90 plus x plus 49 plus 50 equals 180. Circle, box, circle, circle, circle. And then combine those like terms. So we have 90 plus 49 plus 50 equals 189 plus x equals 180. Subtract, subtract, bring down the x, 180 minus 189 equals negative 9, or 180 plus negative 189. I hope that's right. Because this time of the day, who knows what my brain is doing. So let's go to number six. Yes. Whew. Good. All right. So now let's go to number seven. So if you're like, okay, Ms. Hong, I'm going to take a break. All right. We'll see you when you come back from the break. All right. So um, number seven, let's take a look at these real quick. Mm, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, make the rest of the videos um, tomorrow and I'll, uh, tomorrow morning pretty early so they should be available all day Saturday all day Sunday and then you have a Monday as well if you need it okay so um, I will need to stop right here but uh, more videos will definitely be coming so stay tuned <laughs>